Our next story also has to do with humans and animals working together. In this case, a man and a horse functioning almost as a single unit. Patrick Murphy tonight takes a look at something that's been around for a really long time, although it's still not for everybody. All right, here it comes. Billy with the forward shot. Sugar and Jamie, they're right there in front, just rolling towards the end line, and it's over. Well, to uh, play polo is um, exhilarating because it's fast, it's very competitive, it's physical, it takes incredible stamina and um, from both the horse and the rider. Hector and Sugar fighting for it. It can be very dangerous because you're playing, you know, of course, on a 1,500-pound animal, and, you know, sometimes those animals will go down, the horses will fall, and, uh, you know, the best thing is to, to get out of the way of the horse when, so it doesn't roll on you. Polo originated in Persia about 2,000 years ago as a game for warriors and aristocrats. St. Louisans have been playing it since 1893, when members of the St. Louis Country Club first grabbed their mallets, climbed up on their horses, and began whacking away. Until 1914, the St. Louis Country Club's grounds were at Hanley and, yes, Polo Drive in Clayton. In fact, there are still about two acres of the original polo field left in the middle of the subdivision as a reminder of where St. Louis Polo was born. Polo has always been a game of speed and power. You've got to remember, in addition to going at 30 miles an hour, you're trying to hit a ball that's also moving sometimes as fast as 90 miles an hour because you have 1,500 pounds of horse when the man hits it. You can be a very weak person and hit a polo ball, but if you've got 1,500 pounds of horse behind you, it flies. Polo is basically hockey on horses. A game is divided into periods called chuckers, from the Sanskrit word for circle. Chuckers are seven minutes long, and they're played so fast and furiously that you need a fresh horse for each period. I think I might want to get into polo. First, I need seven horses, right? You could use about seven horses, that's correct. Maybe you could loan me some just to get started. You betcha. Come on out. Uh, we'll get you going. <laughs> A game that involves eight people on speeding horses requires some considerable elbow room, so there aren't a lot of places to play the game in St. Louis. Billy Bush has two polo fields at his stables outside of St. Louis, and the Orthwine family has one in their backyard in St. Louis County. You know, this was the original horse country of, uh, of St. Louis and the horse area, and, and uh, you know, it's kind of been maintained in a, in a smaller fashion for the last 50, 60 years now. How big is it? Uh, a field, a regulation field is, is of plain surface is about 300 yards by 150. So it's like nine football fields. Nine, nine football fields, yeah. Yes, here they come. Matches are staged with the flair you would expect, featuring everything from skydivers to marching bands. But polo in St. Louis is more than just recreation for the well-to-do. The St. Louis Area Polo Club holds four matches a year to raise money for charities. This particular game benefits Epworth Children and Family Services. Central to the sport are some of the world's most extraordinary horses, some of which can cost as much as a small house. The first thing I look at a lot of times are just as the eyes. Um, a lot of times you can tell a a horse and what kind of mentality, mentality they have by looking at their eyes. If they have a kind eye like this horse right here does, um, her name is Amor, um, you can already tell that they're probably a pretty good horse, you know, that you can probably teach them something. If they have the real wild eye, you might want to steer clear from them because not only are they hard to teach, but they can hurt you too sometimes. So I look for, the, I look for a kind eye and then, um, and then I look at, the sh at their neck and their shoulders right here and um, and their legs I'm looking for some size if they have good size.